I'm live here on the go here on iHeartRadio with the very beautiful Naya B. We are here for her official book signing for 94th and Racine. And she um, has a transformational book that all of her readers will find out about. Tell us a little bit about the book and why it was so important for you to read it, or for you to write it. Oh, okay. And for us to read it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I'll tell you a little story. I, writing is my therapy. I do so much better in life when I write about what I'm going through. And I get to read it and I get to step outside of myself as if I'm a bystander just watching someone else's life. And I start to critique the things that I do. In my first marriage, I struggled with the separation that I had and our divorce and I didn't handle it very well. So I started to ask myself why. Why do I react the way I do to certain things? So then I started to just kind of Go from the beginning, from day one, meaning when I remember my earliest childhood memory. I tell people all the time when they're upset about something, I ask them, when was the first time you remember being upset about that? Because that takes you back to the root of what your issue is. And that's how I came up with the roots of me. That's good. What is the root of my issues? What are the root of my responses? Why do I react the way that I do when someone ignores me or walk away from me? Why do I spaz like that? So I started writing. And that's when I finished the first book. It took me about a year. Okay. Once that book was finished, um, I think my divorce was probably final at that point. So six years later, because I had to go through some things for Mm -hmm. whole six years, and I got busy. I started a private practice because that also encouraged me to go on and and branch out on my own. Mm -hmm. So I started private practice, and things just kept happening. My responses were not as intense as they were six years prior. Mm -hmm. But I still had some issues. So I was like, you know what? I've grown up a lot, but I still got some work to do. So then I started to write The Growth of Me. Mm. Because I had been through a lot. I had come through a lot. I survived a lot. And I wanted to be transparent about that. Because going forward, whatever I do in my 30s mm-hmm. or going into my 40s, I don't want it to come with me. And I don't want it to affect any relationships going forward. Although we all have our issues. Some stuff's going to happen. Mm. But I didn't want the trauma to happen. I didn't want the effects of the sadness or anger to happen. So I started to write about how I grow because sometimes we can be hard on ourselves when we have an issue and we know we have an issue. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we internalize way too much. Yes. And I needed something to tell me, girl, you all right. You grew up. <laughs> you doing all right. Right. So the growth of me talks about that. I needed to know, well, what did I do from ages 18 to 28? How did I transition? And I went through a lot of things that I know a lot of people go through when they leave home and go to college. Trying to find themselves, figure out where they fit in, figure out who they are. It's a huge blow to the identity. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't trying to go through that. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to let other people know why I wasn't trying to go through that and how I didn't go through that when I left to go to college. So I thought the growth of me would be a good tool for just not, not just, you know, adults, but young students who are going away to school and they're trying to figure out who they are and trying to figure out how they fit into the world. Any plans of doing a tour to uh, through some of the schools, high schools? I would love to. My plan is to get into some of these school districts and see if my book can be a great tool for even character building, mm-hmm. you know, for helping them with coping skills. Because youth today really struggle with coping. They do. They don't know how to cope at no. all. Um, and I think that part of it is because they feel like they're alone. And they feel like they're the only one with that issue or the only one who is upset about something. And I think that my book will be a great tool to teach them that, no, you're not alone. There are people out here who can relate to you. And there are people out here who've been through what you've been through and maybe even worse, but they got through it. But maybe you don't know how to get through it. So my book can be a global tool because everybody doesn't access therapy. That's true. Unfortunately, everybody's not going to meet me the way that I think they should meet me. And the Um, way I do, too. (laughs) So my book will help them understand vicariously how to okay Naya did this Naya went through that let me try that let me see if I can do that and I think it'll be a good tool to put in the schools because hey that's where the kids are struggling the most they do struggle at home but they take it to school they do they take it out on their peers their teachers make it a lot harder for administration to do their job so I think if you know we could get the book in schools they can use it as a tool maybe you know Pick a chapter that stands out to you the most and write about how you can relate to that chapter. Write about what stood out for you in that chapter and how you want to get through your own personal tribulations in that chapter. And then maybe that can help you get a referral to a counselor or get a referral to someplace. Because maybe you don't know 
that you need to help in that way. So my goal is definitely to get it into the schools as part of a curriculum, mm -hmm. whether it's character building curriculum or whether it's trauma focused curriculum. But I definitely want to see that happen. I am here live at the official book signing with Naya B. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but we definitely got to get her in the high schools, do a high school tour. I see that um, because this is definitely something that all of our youth need. And young and young at heart, mm -hmm. those from two to 102, it's never too late to get ourselves together. Tell us how we can find you and where we can follow you on social media. You can follow me on Instagram at author underscore Naya underscore B. Okay. Follow me on Facebook at Naya B. And if you have any inquiries or have any questions, please shoot me an email at Naya at Naya dash B dot com. And she's not, all, she's not just an author. She's also a therapist and a speaker. So if you want to book her and have her come to your town, your city, your school, please make sure that you follow her. She's an amazing person, an amazing author, but even more so just an amazing therapist, someone who can address the issues that you have and help transform your life. And she's done that through this book. I thank you so much for being on the go with me. We are live here on the go at La Crepe in Royal Oak, Michigan at the official book signing for 94th and Racine.